Right, I'm on my phone right now, and we're going to react to Skibbity Toilet 71. Uh, I'm just going to move my character down here so then you guys don't see this. Anyway, here we go. Let's 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 start re reacting. Oh goodness! Oh! Oh! That's how! That's how, chat. That's how. Told you. What? Bro, what is going on? Oh no. Something's gonna be off. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. No, uh, uh, that's not good. Oh, it's G-Man Toilet. Run, run. Oh my goodness. Oh my god That's Astro He wants G-Man on his side Oh my goodness. Chat. That wasn't that that was that was Oh my goodness. Bro. Bro. That's that's the best thing I've ever seen, bro. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Astro Toy, oh he's gonna chase him. He, no no chat. He's gonna He's gonna bring him on his side because do you know why, chat? Because that's how he can get powerful, more powerful. He wants G-Man on his on his on its side. Anyway, chat. Let's see if uh, Elite, uh, Elite, uh, chat, Elite, uh, gentleman told me that he released a video. Chat, chat, chat. Wait, wait, let's see if Elite's cameraman did it first. No, he didn't. So we'll just watch Elite Gentleman. We'll watch each... Elite Gentleman. Okay, right. Right. By the way, I'm doing a live stream with him tonight, so... So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that, chat. Stay tuned for that. Okay? We can see the analysis. After a whole week of waiting, we finally retrieved episode 71, and it was absolutely incredible. This episode was surely crazy. We will talk about the upgrade of G-Man Toilet, who is in the container, and where did the Astro Toilet go? Before we start, I'm starting a series called Skibidi Gentlemen. Subscribe if you want to see future episodes, and let's begin. The episode starts. And we are in a POV of an upgraded cameraman, if I am correct. And it seems that he was too, watching the broadcast, 
or past footage of what happened with dark speaker men and plunger cameramen. In the background, we see loads of explosions occurring around the outside base. In front of the Povey cameraman, we see a huge hole, which was supposedly caused by the explosion. Then, oh. the tablet connection loses its connection, and we let our focus on the action happen. We see upgraded Titan TV man's minion head, scouting for an attack. See? But suddenly... It was exploded by an upgraded soldier. See, toilet, I told you guys, chat. But not completely. Then, Titan TV man picks his little minion up and places it back to his shoulder. Then, Titan TV man says something. Listen to what he said in reverse. He says, you're so fucking dead. Meaning that he did not like the fact that his little minion got destroyed by a fool. As Outpov turns... We see two large missile launchers aimed at the Titans behind the soldiers skibidi toilet. Oh, I didn't we also see that. See some kind of dome, but it is not really clear to show us what it really is. If you know what it is, drop a comment. As the missiles proceeds to launch, oh. Titan TV man immediately does something which will shock us. Because he literally did something weird, which is arms which activated a wave of powers, which looks like a shield, blocking the missiles on time, saving them. I would say it's like a um Elite gentlemen, I would say it's like a like a wave, like a shock wave. So when he does that, he makes a shock wave. Not a shield, it's like a shock wave. Which basically just destroys the thing. What do you think, chat? But unfortunately, one of the missile launchers falls on top of us, <laughs> ending our life. The start of the episode was truly crazy. We got to see many events happen in just under 31 seconds. Anyways, we then seemed to turn into another POV cameraman, watching what happened. Which was that unfortunate death of the cameraman in the previous POV. As he looks up, we see a huge explosion occurring on the other side of the mountain. This could mean that the Titans are in a huge battle with something crazier, which we did not get to see. No, it's the explosions. I'm saying... It's the explosions, it's the, the other side, I think. I think it's the other side. It could be on a one side, and yeah. And see a camera copter landing, bringing more enforcement troops on the battlefield. <laughs> Pay attention, guys, because if we zoom into this area, we see an oddly familiar bunker that looks like from episode 27. I feel like the Alliance was here way before they found out that this area was the base of the Skibidi Alliance. Wait, wait, wait. It, that could be true. Recklessly while the war is ongoing, this is very stupid. He might get clapped if he doesn't stop dancing. <laughs> hey, That's yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> but this upgraded cameraman has some kind of special gun, similar to both upgraded large cameraman and from the leak we received. But instead of an assault gun, it is a sniper rifle. Anyways, we see Dr. Cameraman's in the scene repairing a random cameraman. Then... We see a group of cameramen in the background discussing something, like a plan or whatnot. We then see a large cameraman, who looks very similar to the one who got melted in episode 67. We see a camera copter suddenly crash onto the land out of nowhere, it's, it's, which it's, it's, the Dr. Cameraman to work It's in. a normal cameraman. It's a normal cameraman. It's a, it's a little bit. It's not the same one. It's dead. <laughs> As we turn around, we see an upgraded cameraman who we saw in the previous leak I showed you guys. He seems to be kneeling, observing something mysterious in the ground. Camera zooms in to see a strange device leading into something secret, which we do not know yet. Possibly might be able to enter that area in episode 72. As the upgraded cameraman stands up, we points his hands downwards, indicating something. Suddenly the ground lifts up, which made the upgraded cameraman to head on the platform. We see how half the ground opens which lead to where G-Man Toilet was possibly resting like a weakling. Then, as the ground opens, we are met by two Skibidi helicopters carrying a container. So that made the Alliance attempt to laser it, but it was invulnerable to destroy. So that made the Skibidi flee away to the location, which we do not know. Now the real question is, what is inside this container? The supplies. What if it includes a Skibidi Toilet, which they are currently making? The supplies. Though I do not have any evidence The supplies. Then this, something the, the, disgusting the, appears that made me shit my Gentlemen, okay, here's the thing. If it's a container, it will have supplies. And those supplies are the toilets. They're carrying those supplies. 
Because if they did blow it up, all their supplies would be gone. And G-Man would be, uh, would have some bad stuff on his head. And yeah. Pants. Because we see the most pussycat character ever. Ay, yeah. <laughs> in the toilet. As he appears, he instantly lasers the Alliance, killing most of the Alliance. But we somehow manage to survive. As we stand up, we turn around to see something that caught me off guard. Because we see a DJ toilet, which we apparently thought died in the previous episode. His facial expression makes me feel that he is saddened due to the fact that he lost his huge upgrade. Now he is just like any other Skibidi toilet. Then, we see something that shocked me. Because we then see an upgraded <laughs> Hydra Skibidi toilet approaching the scene like a badass. He just kills everyone on sight without even thinking. He is literally built like a killing machine. Because as you know, the Hydra toilets are impossible beings to beat. And now that they received an upgrade, this would be another threat that we are going to face. Just notice how G-Man Toilet stares deeply into the Hydra Skibidi's soul, without saying anything. Why isn't he saying anything like he used to before? I feel like he is forced to be quiet for something serious. He possibly contacted the Astro Toilets, making an agreement. Though I am not quite sure why he isn't saying anything. As he spots us, he instantly lasers us, yeeting us backwards into the bunker. As we wake up, we see that G-Man Toilet immediately flees away from the scene. This is odd, because he literally fleed all way just like that, as like he was in a rush. Must have been scared by something. We are merely met. He's evacuating. He's evacuating, so then... So then... Chat. So then... Basically, G-Man... G that's one. So then he... He, he, he evacuates, he doesn't, he doesn't see, you know, them again. <laughs> Good job. Okay. By the detainer Astro Toilet, who seems to be on a hunt, possibly looking for G-Man Toilet. Now this should make absolute sense. G-Man Toilet must have heard or seen a glimpse of the Astro Toilet, which made him scared and fleed away. He gives us a stare and leaves the scene making the episode end. This was the most legendary episode we have ever retrieved ever. All the events were absolutely crazy. I just wonder what is in that container that the Skibidi toilets were carrying. Let me know your theories in the comments for that. Now, for the theories, theory made by Omar Shaker, I think Boom will introduce a new race called the console race. Now I know this sounds crazy, but think of this as a new race. Our console is based. They I don't think that's oh, okay. Make them stronger. Or they could build weapons. Okay, weapons. okay. This is just about chat. Okay, chat. Okay. I think basically what's going to happen is that Astro Toilet's following G Man so he can get him on the side. Because Astro Toilet wants him on his side. Like, of course, you know. Um, like, of course, uh. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, chat. I'm gonna be like.